Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's feature of Master Nightfall, which is Warden and Nothing. I'm doing it on Solar Hunter, Solar 3.0, and this is all the fragments and aspects and abilities that I'll be using. Uh, I, I decided to go with something a little bit different. Uh, Outbreak Perfected for the, the barriers, uh, Staccato for the Unstoppable, and I'm using the Cataclysmic. I'll talk more about that as we go on. Uh, the exotic I'm using is Frosties because sprinting gets me my abilities back. I've coupled that with uh, obviously powerful friends to get 100% mobility. And that's all the mods I used. Everything's there. Now, this isn't what I would call an optimized run. It's relatively, you know, straightforward. This is probably one of the easiest uh, masters to do this season. Although, I think the easiest one probably will go to the arms dealer, but I haven't had that one yet. So, it took me a little bit longer to get this one out because I haven't been... The time I have had to kind of do stuff, I've literally just been playing, so... And helping people get stuff done and what have you. But I wanted to get at least one run out. I have got a Warlock run uh, that I recorded. I'll maybe get that one out after this, just so I've put a couple out. You see me here, it looks like I'm just spinning, but I am sprinting. And you'll know that you're sprinting when uh, when you get the, you'll get the subtext. You'll see it when we start running down here. You get the subtext and you're uh, just where, it's, where, where all the other things are. Unstoppable shot on your mark, all that. Basically telling you you're getting your abilities back faster, which is what uh, Frosties do. So... I, I I never, uh, I didn't synergize this for boss damage because, I'm going to be honest, with this loadout, you could probably break wind on the boss and he'd, he'd die. Uh, solar damage, boss spec, the uh, Blade Barrage Super, they're all really strong on him. So you can see rapid cooldown. On the left hand side of the screen, rapid cooldown tells you that you are getting your abilities back faster. Now, I've, because uh, this, this Nightfall has all the champions, I've went with Overload Grenades. And as you can see there, when you dodge with the Hunter, with the with the, the Seasonal mod, that I always forget the name of, Classy Restoration. When you dodge with Classy Restoration, obviously on the Hunter, you get it on any class. Unkillable is a strong word, but it's close. So, you know, you can stand in front of an Overlord and the Overlord won't be able to kill you. Practically won't be able to damage you either. Uh, so that's, that's kind of that's kind of thing. I'm not really going to be talking too much about what I'm doing on the screen unless it's unless we get to a certain part. I am going to speak about the Nightfall, though. This Nightfall, it has a lot of areas where people can think that it's going to be difficult. But knowing what spawns what and, and how, to, how to work... Uh, the areas is the most important part of this. So most of it, I mean, I mean, there really is only like two kind of kind of areas where you've got to be careful that you've got to kind of play the mechanics of, of how it's working. And the first one, uh, it's not here just yet, but the, the the first one is literally knowing when the boss comes out and, and controlling the ad spawns, and the second one is diffusing the mines. They're both very simple. So, normally, there's another mod that I use. I, I didn't use it, I couldn't use it on this because uh, because I needed to have overload grenades on. But if you've got a revitalizing blast on, if you've got that on, and take, for, the, for example, this part here, you had the unstoppable and you had the two phalanxes. Revitalizing blast causes uh, champions to ignite. Actually, it causes them to explode. They take up. They have a solar explosion that comes off them when you stop them. It doesn't matter if it's a unstoppable, an anti-barrier, or an overload. It takes about a fifth, sixth of the health away. And and so if you're running this, if you're farming this in a fire team, I would suggest, I really would suggest, uh, putting it on. So let's talk a little bit about the cataclysmic because I haven't used it in a run because it's a raid weapon. You can go with. With uh, you can go with just an, a, a different uh, linear fusion rifle. Uh, you pro you probably even get away with Galahorn to be fair, but because we've got the fusion rifle on, uh, the the pulse rifle, the outbreak perfected, which does absolute insane work in here. It's very strong. 
and you probably have to go with a legendary but there is another legendary linear fusion rifle that comes with high impact reserves and someone's going to ask me what it's called and 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 i off the top of my head i can't remember what it's called uh it came from one of the previous seasons uh what was it called oh corsair's wrath you've also got the komodo uh 4fr that you can get from the season that you can uh, buy from your collections it was a seasonal weapon so it can be rebought it comes fully masterwork so you got to pay the price for it if you don't have it i think you buy it for an ascendant shard from the the kiosk in between the the vault spaces they're both solar so corsair's wrath and the komodo are both solar uh linear fusion rifles and because solar burns on you do 25 percent extra solar but i i decided to use this because a i haven't used it before in a run I've been having a lot, a lot of fun using Storm Chase. I can't wait for an Arc Burn to come up because that will be what I'm using during Arc Burn. Uh, the reason I just said to use Outbreak Perfected is very simple. Uh, famine is on, so you don't drop as much uh, heavy or uh, you don't drop as much uh, uh, ammo for the weapon you're using. So I'm not really going to drop a lot of heavy. Unless I use an exotic primary, because as you all know, because you are very learned, uh, exotic primaries drop more heavy. So, and as you can see in front of me, I have a heavy brick, which if I hadn't have been using an exotic primary, wouldn't have happened. Now, it's probably, as I say, I apologise that this I never got this out earlier. I actually done this about two or three days ago. Um, the wallop run I think I've done on Thursday, I just haven't had time to to get edited or which is what took me so long to get my dungeon run out hopefully everything's back to normal i've had family visiting and there's been tons of things going on uh, when you have a big family there's always big things going on so uh hopefully next week i, th I think uh, it's the corrupted next week hopefully i'll get that out on tuesday shouldn't be too difficult uh and i and i believe next week's nightfall weapon is the pulse rifle right uh the pulse rifle that's just come back that just like every other weapon in the game i always forget the names of these things oh my uh horrors least so we'll be doing that to get horrors least they buffed exotic primaries they gave them a bit of a buff a couple of seasons ago and i, I don't really use a lot of exotic primaries to be fair and i just i, I was farming this with a, a friend of mine wanted to get the machine gun so we i started farming it with him just trying to get get him as much xp because that's why i'm put, making sure i put one out you get massive amounts of vanguard xp if you don't if you don't do any other activity and you just run a couple of nightfalls you can end up getting 1200 vanguard points per nightfall it's insane and we got it down to about a 14 minute run uh which for two man and for someone that doesn't really solo a lot of kind of stuff like this it was, it was pretty good and i decided just to put this on and try uh, i wasn't using uh for the runs we were doing i wasn't using uh this the staccato i was using uh the trail the, the trail scout rifle the embrace i was using that and I decided to use this because it's got adaptive munitions. And I think I've noticed, and probably you guys have noticed, the mods change on a rotating basis in the Nightfall each day. So when you see a video, it, you, I could basically put a Nightfall video out every day because there'll be different modifiers. I'm not sure if they rotate on like a, like there's two or three modifiers that rotate during the week. But there's definitely, definitely a, a rotating modifier thing going so now that we've got this part, I, this is one of the parts I will talk about. You see here, the boss is still behind his his area at the back. Once you kill enough of these enemies at the back, he will come out. We're just going to take him one hit with the, the blade barrage. And I got told by a subscriber, if you walk backwards when you fire your blade barrage, you get it in a straighter stream. And it seems to be the case. So when you fire your blade barrage, make sure you're going backwards and then fire it. Uh, another thing is when you first come up there and you've got the hydra if you take the hydra from on top of the box that i was standing on the, the two champions won't spawn until you move up so it gives you time to do make sure you take the hydra before you go after the champions and again i was just taking 
uh, as many of the red bar enemies as possible to make sure I had a good stack of heavy going into the next section, which is this section. The, the, only, the real problem here, and it's not really a problem, the, the, the things you've got to look out for, there's two unstoppables. Make sure that if you want to take out enemies and you're not ready to deal with the unstoppables, just stun one of them. They, they will chase you eventually, but uh, not not straight away. So if they feel like they're threatened, they'll come after you. And as you can see, I'm, I'm killing enemies around them, and he, and he hasn't bothered coming. So I'll just take out that exploding tank. I'm just picking off ads all around. And now I'm going to stop him, and then I'm going to... My Cataclysm has bait and switch, and four times the charm. So even if I'm not going to kill the champion, I like to get the four shots off, because it gives me two back. So why wouldn't you? And once you've took him, there's another one down at the bottom. So this one, I'm, you know, see here, you get the two shots back. It's a, it's a very good, bait and switch is a good perk. I, I don't think I actually use the perk too much. Simply because bait and switch, as far as I'm aware, is a raid perk. So I didn't want to do a run where I was relying on a raid perk to get my damage. Because there's, there's other weapons that come with four times the charm. So, you know. It's no problem utilising that. And here you can see adaptive munitions just kicking in and just absolutely destroying that shield. You know, the Staccato is an okay pul uh, scout rifle. There are better, uh, for the, even for this, but like I said, this isn't an optimised run. This is just showing a, a, a half-decent run on this, this strike and showing that it's, it's pretty straightforward. So, this is the next area we're going to talk about, which is uh, diffusing the mines. When you first get up here, you're going to have four champions. An unstoppable, an overload, in fact you'll have five because there's three barriers. So what I do is I get up high, right? And there's two little platforms here, so I take the two snipers, there'll always be, well, nearly always be two snipers, the other sniper looks like he's been bullied. Uh, and then I start on the Colossus. Because the Colossus from here, if, if you're not doing the damage from here, you can jump across to the other one. Make sure you're always ready to stop this, because if you're not, that will happen. And I'll show you what I do here. So what I do is I put a full clip on, I reload, and then I'm reloading my scout, and then I put another bit on, reload, and I just stay with the what I'm doing with the pulse now is I put a couple of bursts to break the shield. This it's the, the way I kind of... Sh the optimised way to do it with this is put a bit of damage on the boss. When you break his shield, put the rest of your clip, reload, put half your clip, and then save the rest to break his shield again. You'll see here I'm doing it here with the hobgoblins. Just making sure I've always got enough to break the shield. And then I just use the rest of the clip as damage and I put a couple of bursts in, wait for the shield to go up and just keep doing it that and you destroy these champions. So I'm just doing a bit of run to get my grenade back. It's really cool being able to do that because what I can do is I can use the grenade for more than just the overload. See there, I've done a decent bit of damage to the hobgoblin. I'm going to keep do, keep to the same routine. Right. And then it's going to be, I'm going to take the unstoppable and I'm going to leave the overload because I need to be down in front of the overload to hit him with a grenade and do the right sort of damage. So let's talk about the place, talk about the mines. The mine in the centre, now, excuse me because <laughs> it won't come as much of a surprise. I can't remember which is A, B and C. I think B is the first one that comes up. And I, I think, if I'm, I could be wrong, is A on the right and C is on the left? I don't know. We'll just go right and left anyway. So when the mid plate comes up, you've got one minute. You've got one minute to clear to, to before you actually need to go on the plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize that time totally to clear ads. So what's going to happen is once I take this uh, over, the overload, you see that's him exploding there. Once I take him, I'm, I'm going to go back up to my spot and there's a big, big void minotaur that comes out. A big, big, big. He's really big. 
I'm just running into the wall to get as much of my grenade back as possible. I'm going to take this void... I'm going to take this void minotaur out over on the right-hand side. So it's A in the mid. I'm going to take this void minotaur out first. You see him there? Take him out first. And that means that when I go over there, I can just, I can just go over and capture the plate. There we go. He's down. So now... Normally what happens is the unstoppable goes down towards the other side, the left hand side, and the barrier stays up there. What we're going to do with the barriers, we're going to pop a super and clear the barriers. You can see I've got heavy there, I'll break that shield. Now what we're going to do is get a shield break on this hobgoblin. Normally I would just fire my super because the other champion wouldn't be there, but this time I'm making sure my super does maximum damage, although it didn't. And the reason why it didn't, just get a thrown knife kill there it's because there were other ads and it shared the damage so i'm just keeping an eye on the timer two one you see how close that was but what that goes to show is you have the full minute to clear the ads so there we go there's the unstoppable gone i've got another brick of heavy there so i've cleared basically takes put some damage on the ads here basically i've cleared all the ads from left and right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, yeah, so it's A and then C's on the right and B's on the left. Okay. I'll remember that now. I've, I've, I've never paid attention to the number, the, the names. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to crouch here. I am not going to shoot any Vex if I don't have to. Why? Because there is an overload here. You do not need, you do not need to shoot, to kill the overload to get platinum. So once I do that, I can see I've got 20 odd seconds on the clock on B. So I just kind of stayed close to the side. I didn't really bother with going after, going right in. Now what you're going to see here is the overload is over here fighting a, a cabal. So I've ran straight past them and they even come round and I don't even bother. Because they haven't really paid attention to me. They're fighting each other. I've already got the 100k. Stay crouched. Don't engage. And if... if by some chance they do engage what to do is dodge get your recovery activate the seasonal mod and they can't kill you the hunter is honestly he's the best subclass this season solar's got the solar's got the 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 thrown hammer uh warlock's got the the grenades hunter's got everything it's phenomenal class this season so I'm going to dodge. Again, that procs my my health regeneration. And we're just going to keep hitting them with the, the cannon, the scorch cannon. And once that's out, I'm going to change here at the staccato. And just, you see it's applying. Because of the, the modifier, I think uh, constant solar uh, precision supply a burning effect to the enemy. Uh, I, I, I do have a staccato with incandescent on it, which does roughly the same thing. But I use this one, obviously, because there is one void shield in this strike. Thanks for that, Bungie. One void. And I, actually, I didn't even have to put, put, put it on for that because I could have just ran past that void shield. So, joke's on me, huh? Actually, it was more because there was some minotaurs. But again, uh, not really enough void shields to run a void weapon. So, what's going to happen here is now we're going to activate this chest. Which is going to take us down in the lift. And there's not going to be any champions there. Or the boss. And this is a bug. I don't know why it happens. But this is a bug that happened almost... Oh man, one, one out of five runs. Uh, one out of five runs I was getting the champions. And you'll know it's bugged because you'll see that claim your treasure. It won't change normally. You get new objective when you go down here. So the minute I land... I'm just going to kill myself. There's nothing I can do to get the champions to spawn. If you wipe there, it puts you back up at the top of the lift. Uh, nothing I can do. I can't get them to to spawn in unless I do that. And that will put you back up the top of the lift and just... It doesn't, there is no, You know, I've seen people say it. If you wait for the, the audio to finish here, if you wait for this, it doesn't matter. I've tried all of them. It's... It's a bug that must exist within this strike. Uh, 
And now you'll see, claim your treasure, bottom will fall out, fall down, new objective. There we go. And now the four champions for two barriers and an overload and an unstoppable. Just a quick thing about this. If at all possible, uh, it's not always possible, uh, Take try and take one Cabal, one Vex. And have still have a Cabal and a Vex fighting. It's actually easier to take the Cabal because the minute the Vex feel threatened, that you can see this 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 colossus is just gonna back away into cover here, and the vex the the vex uh, barrier is gonna do the same. So it's actually easier to take these two in the center. Oh, you can see there's a normal just a normal vex hobgoblin came out. Like what's going on up there? Is, it, is that a guardian? I haven't seen a guardian before. You know. So there he is. Bye. So it's actually easier, even though you've seen the Colossus coming out there, it's actually easier to take the Overloader. Because it doesn't matter what happens, the Colossus will end up walking away again. So we're going to take the, the the Unstoppable. That's one. And you see now the Vex are like, oh, there's a big dude up there. So now, now that the Colossus is where he is now, right, we can take him. Because that is going to be almost his rest in place. Now, it's probably worthwhile mentioning this. I could have used heavy here because I don't actually need that much when the boss comes. I just didn't know because I haven't used the, cata the, the, the cataclysmic. I hadn't used... This was the first run that I'd used it on solo. So I didn't know how much ammunition on the, you know to be on the safe side I would need to keep. You know, for all I knew, I might have needed it all. So I decided just not to use any for the bot, the, these champions, if I if I could help it. And if I was going to use any, it'd be for this little Vex barrier. But the, 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 the Outbreak does really good damage. So I figured the Outbreak would do it. You can see there, the, because I've got the Catalyst, the more of these Siva Nanites that I attach to, to the, the champion, you'll see... The more I attach, the more the numbers go up, because that's that's the way it works. And it, and it actually, when you've got the catalyst, I think it it uh, produces more Siva nanites. So, and this should be the end of this goblin. There we go. See that last bit of health? You really could see it come down. And you know, that's a fifteen ninety strike. Although this this, this one's quite easy. So we've dodged. Just let him come up here. And now we'll get a couple of shots off on him. There we go. So what we're going to do is very simple here. Uh, I've got my dodge. I'm going to throw my throwing knife, which makes me radiant. And then I fire my super straight away. And there we go. I'm just going to finish him. Got my dodge off. He cannot kill me now. And as you can see here with the amount of heavy I had. I had enough heavy to be able to use some of the, on those champions. But... A really simple run. I just wanted to get one out there in case you guys want to go in and give this a go. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Appreciate your support as always. Uh, if you haven't already, check out the the Solo Flawless Dungeon. And I want to give a big shout out to Stoic Robot. Thank you very much for the tip. I, I really appreciated that. Take it easy. Enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.